Miller officially opened the exhibit. Visitors can watch 10 falcons on a TV monitor linked to a camera on top of the Vine Center. State Fish and Wildlife officials brought the 10 falcons to town last month in an effort to reestablish the endangered species in Kentucky. I think the falcons have captured the imagination of people in Lexington. They've, they're able to watch them on Channel 3, they're able to see them on these monitors, and now children are able to come and see what it's like to be a falcon. The Children's Museum exhibit also includes falcon puppets for youngsters to enjoy. President Clinton announces his choice. Display you'll want to check out. The Lexington Children's Museum opened a display focusing on the Lexington Falcon Watch Project. Ten peregrine falcons have been making Lexington their summer home. The Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources is trying to reestablish the endangered species in Kentucky. At the display, visitors can watch the falcons on a monitor thanks to a camera mounted on the roof of the Vine Center downtown. That's the falcons' home. The project's coordinator says anybody can benefit from the display. Both this exhibit and other forms of coverage on this project this, this summer in Lexington is it gives everyone, children on up, a chance to see uh, something that they normally wouldn't see. So much of what you can also watch the Falcons on Lexington Telecable Channel 3 most mornings and afternoons. Well, the issue of gays in the... It focuses on Lexington's Falcon Watch Project, which of course is aimed at reestablishing the endangered peregrine falcon in Kentucky. Visitors can watch the Falcons on a monitor at a new display thanks to a camera mounted on the roof of the Vine Center downtown. Uh, both this exhibit and other forms of coverage on this project this, this summer in Lexington is it gives everyone, children on up, a chance to see uh, something that they normally wouldn't see. Now you can also watch the Falcons on Lexington Telecable Channel 3 most mornings and afternoons. And we? <laughs> that is. <laughs> well, time for sports. ...of this production are Falcons. That story is ahead. The Lexington Children's Museum can now get a bird's eye view of Lexington. Or at least a view of birds in Lexington. Today, the new display opened featuring the Lexington Falcon Watch Project. Ten peregrine falcons have been making downtown Lexington their summer home since last month in an effort to reestablish the endangered species in Kentucky. Thanks to the museum display, visitors can watch the falcons on a monitor linked to a camera in the falcon's home on the roof of Vine Center. To cooperation and education, and this exhibit is an example of how that mission statement works. This, this uh, exhibit was made out of uh, wood that would have normally gone to waste. The video displays are also located at the Lexington Public Library and in the lobbies of Vine Center, the Lexington Financial Center, and the Government Center. Good chance to see it up close. Well, they're intriguing to watch. Have you ever watched them on cable no, at I home? Haven't. Every once in a while, if you get the right channel on, you can just can watch, watch them. them. Yeah. Making their home here in Lexington. That's they right. Decide to stick around. <laughs> Coming up tonight at 11 on News Channel 36, the investigation into the House of Representatives Post Office could have serious implications for a very powerful Congress.